Having that, I want to start making more videos, so I'm going to talk myself into a position where I can do that. Hello there. I bought an auto cue or teleprompter about nine months ago, and this is the first time I've used it. So hopefully I should be looking straight at you this time. A while ago, I wrote that because everyone who has a social media account is now in the media business. Everyone should have media training so they can manage their online presence. It's the sort of thing that will be taught in schools, if not done so already. What this also means is that essentially everyone also now must have a media strategy. How do you go about building your online presence? How are you making yourself known? And where are you doing that? That is something I have been thinking about for a while. Right now, I have my own website where I post articles I write every week and a few social media accounts I only use to point to that website, like a village community pin board telling you a meet raffle is taking place on Sunday at the pub after church. Meanwhile, I have a YouTube channel that holds the videos I have made but has more subscribers than all the social media accounts combined. Therefore, I am not using social media effectively, and I have subscribers to a video channel that has no new videos. Surely I should pivot from writing articles to making videos? I know I can do both, but in a full-time job that means the easier option most often wins, and that is the one that involves a lot more typing. Then you have the issue of content. A couple of years ago, I was toying with the idea of making a video series titled Lee Spence is Content, using the double meaning of that word. I didn't go ahead with that because all it tells you is that you should be watching me, and I'm a bit too self-conscious for that. However, content doesn't mean much as a word anymore in terms of media posted online. I still think of a type of media, like a video, and then the contents of that video. At some point, content came to mean anything put online, no matter what form it took, because the internet was the container, or worse, the video streaming site or social media site considers itself to be the container and its users to be their content. Because my content lives on its own site, they have no use for me, and I have little use for them. With this being the landscape into which I place anything creative I have, it almost doesn't matter whether an idea I have is expressed in writing or in pictures, when really it should. They are completely different sets of disciplines. Granted, I have a degree in media studies, so I am going to think that way, but I graduated a full year before YouTube even began, so my view of what makes a video was formed entirely before a new business model became applied to them. This is why the videos I have made are not the same as each other. Some use voiceover, one has been silent, a couple have used music, and one didn't use pictures. If YouTube wants me to build an audience through consistent content released on a dependable schedule, then it will have to deal with me wanting to be consistently inconsistent. So what do I do? More videos, fewer articles, a little more social media presence, perhaps talking about things that could become articles or videos? Was it that engaging with other people and sharing your data with them is all that the internet wants you to do, regardless of what you make? Anyway, like, comment and subscribe and do as you damn well please. Thank you for watching. If you would like to see more videos like this, consider watching the others I have already posted or find a way to watch my dreams at night. And as ever, the nostalgic culture crisis continues at www.leespence.net, the home of Dancing with the Gatekeepers.